Hey everyone, I have a fun print for you today. I have in front of me the Platform Jack by International 3D. And this is by far one of the coolest single print objects that I've ever done. Uh, it prints upright like this. However, when you pull it off the print bed and you give this a little squeeze, you can see that it's a fully uh, mechanical scissor lift printed in a single piece. Now this is a marvel of engineering and 3D printing design and just there's a lot of know-how and this just this is incredible this amazes me so much um, this is a very tough object to print uh, first of all if I close it all up there was a little bit of warpage it prints upright like this on the print bed and since this is printed out of ABS there's a little bit of warpage on the edge but nothing that affected it too much However, there's a lot of very close tolerances in here. So when you pull it off the print bed, you kind of have to pull it and manipulate it so that so you make sure that nothing's stuck together. And I didn't do a too good of job doing that. So if I open this back up and we take a look on the inside, we can see that there are plenty of places inside where I had to go and do some ABS slurry, uh, especially back here. Um, where the little uh, lead screw is. I had this broke off when I first pulled it apart, so I had to ABS glue that. And it's the same with some of these other joints. There's this joint and the same joints back here where I had to ABS it uh, back together. But once I put some ABS slurry, you can click on the screen here to see how I made that. Uh, once I put that on here and let it dry overnight, it is working magnificently. This is just such a cool design to play around with and really show what 3D printing is all about. So this was actually a very challenging print on my printer. Uh, the tolerances on this updated model um, are still pretty tight and I had a few places that stuck together which is why when I tried to pull it all apart uh, a few of the locations broke and I had to ABS glue them together. However, if that does happen to you, you can just throw some ABS slurry on there and everything should be good to go. If you're printing this out of PLA, uh, you can just use some epoxy or some other uh, glue to bond all of that together again. And since it's designed to be printed without support material, these kind of top bars, they're printed like this. So these top uh, two bars need to have bridges and those bridges didn't turn out too well on my printer. Uh, since this is ABS, I didn't have a cooling fan blowing on the prints. So those first couple of bridges just didn't turn out too well. I can come in here later with an X-Acto knife and clean them up. This doesn't inhibit the function of the device at all. This is just more as aesthetics. Uh, other than that, the print wasn't too bad actually. It took about seven hours on my printer and this is 0.3 millimeter layer heights. Uh, so a pretty coarse print and it still took a while because there's a lot of intricate parts in here. So I would recommend checking out their link in the description below. Uh, download the file and print it out for yourself. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.